Well, we're gonna do a little maintenance on the Sportster today. I'm gonna pop off the air cleaner here and uh, give it a good cleaning. And I guess I'll just show you guys what it takes and how you change an air cleaner on a uh, 2007 Sportster. Yeah, we're just gonna keep it simple and we're gonna get started here. So, this thing is uh, very dirty, let me show you. I mean, obviously all of the impact and all of the debris and everything comes straight onto it here. So, the majority of the dirt is going to be right on the front side there. So you can see a difference in color. It goes real black, 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 and then gets a little lighter. So it's not as saturated around the other side. That's what you gotta deal with when you got a uh, out in the open intake like this. So let's go on ahead and pop this cover off. This is gonna be the stage one. I think it's called the Big Sucker air filter. I'll link it down below so you guys can check it out. But it is technically a stage one mod or something like that. I don't know. It's not only Subaru stuff. Motorcycles have the stages as well. <laughs> So yeah, let's pull this baby off, uh, show you guys what to do and what tools to use and what I'm going to use to clean it. So let's go on ahead and take a look. So I'm starting with the 3 16 uh, Allen head here to get this first screw out. This is the bolt that holds on the cover. Again, it all depends on your application. This is aftermarket, so I'm not really sure what a stock you know, OEM air filter size is. But if you have this one, I'll tell you what sizes you're going to need. Get that baby off. See what we get. Doop, doop, doop. That's it. It's just a little cover. Kind of tidies things up nicely. Set that baby aside. And then we're going to move on to these three screws here. So the next size you're going to need is a 5 30 seconds Allen head to get these other three mounting screws off. Zip these babies out. I believe I put Loctite on these the last time. Just a blue Loctite, that way you can remove it when you need to. But it just keeps it snug enough where it won't come loose. Let's pull this baby off. What do we have? Alright, so pulled the air filter off here. We do have some oil residue. As you can see, the shininess up top. There's two little breather ports up here. So it could be a lot of oil blow by that gets into your filter. And it could cause your bike to uh, run pretty crappy, so I want to be sure to get all the oil cleaned off of this thing. And of course all the other contaminants and dirt and debris. There's a little oil drip actually forming down here. Gonna wipe that off. So yeah, it's just like a crankcase ventilation area, I believe. So you do get some oil residue in here, unfortunately. I guess it's pretty well known with the Sportster. Maybe even, you know, different Harleys, different FXRs or... Dinas, but it's definitely common with these Evo motors here that come with Sportsters. So I'm just going to clean that up a little bit, get it all pretty, and yeah, let's go on ahead and move on and I'll show you what I'm going to use to clean the air filter. I'm going to be using some Power Clean from K&N. Obviously it's not a K&N filter, but it's pretty much, you know, pretty close to the mesh that K&N uses on their filters. So basically just going to spray it liberally and uh, rinse it off and repeat if you need to. Depends on how dirty the air filter is, but it's pretty self-explanatory, just like any filter that you clean. It's same concept, same routine. You're looking for the same end result, which is nice and clean. I typically just spray from the inside out, and then eventually I'll just spray everywhere, but I usually start on the inside. Just want to kind of spray it liberally, get it all nice and soaked, let the power clean do its job. So we're just going to let this soak for about 10 minutes. Give it a nice warm rinse, and if dirt still appears on it, or any debris, I'll just repeat the process and continue until it comes clean. Alright, we're going for round two. We're just going to give it a nice spray once more. I already rinsed out the first uh, round. A lot of the dirt came out, but I'm just going to do a second round just because. So again, we're just going to spray it, let it sit ten minutes, and uh, just rinse it on out. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Alright, so basically after you have your air filter all nice and clean and all nice and dry, you're going to want to apply some of this K&N air filter oil. This is an Arlen S brand air filter, so it's not exactly a K&N quality, I don't think. Um, they say to use the red oil if your filament is going to be like a pink color, and then to use some other type of oil if your filament is this gray color. But uh, I've been using this, you know, just a light coat of this pink stuff here. 
with no issues so I'm going to continue to do that. I don't know if it's recommended but like I said I've done it for you know two years or so without any issues so I'm going to continue to do that. Again I'm going to be very light on the coat just uh, just enough to just change the color to a little pink. Try and evenly coat all the area and should be good to go. It's a little messy I'm not sure why I'm doing it right here. Let's do a light coat and see what we get. Just a little pink residue is all you're looking for, all I'm looking for. Again, this is just what I do and I don't necessarily recommend it. I'm just showing you the steps that I take to get this job done. So what I like to do is take a towel or a rag and kind of clean up the edge. Get rid of the excess oil, that way it doesn't slop around in your intake or mess with any of your sensors of any kind. And call it a freaking day. I'm just going to go with on the outside, I'm not going to go on the inside, that's a little overkill for me. You do you. I do me. Basically just gonna let her kinda dry and move on with my life now. Just to be safe, I'm gonna go with some blue Loctite. Just going with some blue uh, thread locker here. It is removable. Just a little dab will do ya. This is our 5.30 seconds Allen head here. That is my 5.30 seconds on the ground. A little closer to the action here. A little closer there, yeah, there we go. Nice angle there, the dangle. Just line up your holes and uh, get these screws in there. Looking real good. There's nothing like a nice clean air filter for you Harley. Same goes for the bolt that holds on the cover. I'm going to do a little bit of blue on there. Our 3 16 Allen head here. Screw her on in. That is going to conclude a little simple air filter cleaning on my Sportster. Alright guys, we'll take it easy and uh, keep it on two wheels.